So today in this video, I will be showing you that how you can create a Windows 10 bootable installation USB and how you have to install the Windows 10. So first you need to come to any of your computer. Like right now I'm on this machine with Windows 11. Then you will have to use the Google Chrome browser. So bring up the Google Chrome and here you have to search Windows 10 ISO download. You will be getting the first website. Click on download Windows 10 disk image. Now here, when you scroll down, you don't find any option to download the Windows 10 ISO. So we have to use a small trick. Click on the three dot of the Chrome at the right and top. Then hover up to more tools. And then from the suggestion, you have to click on developer tools. Now this will bring up the inspect element box on the right hand side. So again here, on the right hand side, you will see the three dot inside the inspect element box. You need to click on it. Hover up to more tools. Then you have to look for network conditions. Click on it. This will bring up network condition box at the bottom. Now here where it says user agent, you need to uncheck this box that says use browser default. Uncheck it. And then from the drop down where it says custom, you have to choose Chrome, Chrome OS. Select it. And that's it. Now once you are done, now reload the page here. Once reloaded, now you can also close the inspect element box. And this time when you scroll down, you will find that the Windows 10 2023 update version 22H2 option of downloading the ISO has been displayed. So simply click on the drop down, choose addition, click on confirm, choose the product language, click on confirm and then either you can download the 64 bit or the 32 bit. I will be downloading the 64 bit. So I will click on it. Now you will have to wait until the ISO is being downloaded. And once ISO get downloaded, now next we have to download the Rufu software that will be helping us to create a bootable USB. So open up a new tab and search here Rufus and hit the enter key. Click on the first website. Scroll down here. And in the latest release, you will find the top option Rufus 4.9.exe. So either you can go with the standard version or you can also use the portable version. Make a click on it and very quickly the tool will be downloaded. So click on this Rufus software. Click on yes. It will ask you do you want to allow Rufus to check for application update online. Make sure that you click on yes here. And this kind of simple dashboard of the Rufus will be up. On the very top here, it will ask you that which pen drive, which USB you want to make the Windows 10 bootable USB. So I have connected my Kingston 64 gigabyte USB. So I want to make it. So I have already selected. But on your end, click on the drop down and make sure that you choose the right USB that you want to make the installation USB. Next in the boot selection, on the right hand side, you will have to click on select. Then you have to move to the location where you have downloaded the ISO. Select the ISO. Click on open. Volume label. Uh, you can rename it to like Win 10 USB or whatever name you want to give. Then you don't have to make any changes here. Click on start. Now Rufus give you some additional option here. Like if you want to create a local account automatically, then you can type the local account name here and check this box. Set regional option to the same value as this user. Disable data collection. Disable bit locker automatic drive encrypt device encryption. So if you want to choose this option, then you can choose it. And then finally, you will have to click on OK. Click on OK. And click on OK. So now the process will be started and it may take about few minutes. So just wait until it's all been done. And once it will be installed, I will show you that how exactly you have to use this Windows 10 bootable USB to install Windows 10. Okay, so the bootable USB is now ready and once it will be done, it will show you ready here. And on my end, it took about 5 to 7 minutes, but uh, sometimes it's done only in 3 minutes, 2 minutes. So you can see on your side that how much time it takes. Alright, now once you have the bootable USB, if I click on close and bring up the file explorer, so you will find here that I have a Windows 10 bootable flash drive. And if I double click on it, you will find all the installation file over here. So now we are good to go and we can now install the Windows 10 on any device. So let me show you how exactly this will work. 
So connect the USB to any laptop or PC wherever you want to install. Once connected, now restart the computer. And on your screen only, it will show you some kind of message that press the escape key F10 to change the boot priority order. So on my end, I will press the escape key and then I will choose my USB here. All right, and now very soon you will find that it will be booting up with Windows 10. So the very first page will be getting the Windows setup where you can choose the language, time and currency format. Then you have to click on next and click on install now. Next, it will ask you for the activation. So if you have any product key, then you can enter here. If not, uh, you can do it manually uh, after installing Windows 10. So what you can do at the bottom, you will find I don't have a product key option. You need to click on it. Now it will ask you which version exactly you want to install. So you can go with the home, education, pro, whichever. I will be going with the pro. So I will choose Windows 10 Pro and click on next. Check the box. Click on next. Click on custom. Now you have to choose the partition that where exactly you want to install the Windows 10. So if you want to go with a clean installation, so you can format and delete all the partition and fresh install on any of the partition. But if you already have any operating system before, then make sure that either you take the data backup or you can also go with a dual boot by choosing any other partition to install the Windows 10. I would recommend you go with the fresh installation. So I will delete all the other partition over here. And then finally, I have the drive zero with unallocated space. So I can select it and click on next. So now you will see that the Windows installation will be started and it may take about few minutes only. And after that, Finally, it will take you to the Windows 10 desktop. All right, so this is how exactly you can create a bootable USB of Windows 10 and install Windows 10 on any of the device using the Windows 10 flash drive. Hopefully this video will help you guys. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.